Hey guys, it's Joanne here, and I hope you're all doing amazing today. Today, I am so excited to bring you a Dollar Tree review video. I purchased this product a few hauls ago, and I had promised a review, you know, what do I think about it, etc. Um, I'm gonna give you guys the lowdown, the truth, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. We are gonna take a look today at these Dollar Tree gloss brush paint markers. And when I was at my Dollar Tree, I found five different colors, pink, black, purple, white, and green. And they came individually, one in a pack. You'll see I already had started playing with them and working the DIY. Uh, these are meant to be used on glass, porcelain, or ceramic, and supposedly they are going to be dishwasher safe or uh, wash friendly as long as you don't scrub it really hard um, after setting it in the in your oven for like 30 minutes at like 160 degrees. Let me preface this review video with I am not an artist. I am not really talented when it comes to drying or creative things, but I do know that many of you out there are actually talented and probably could do some amazing stuff with these markers. So if after this video you decide to give them a shot, please let me know in the comments below what type of DIY you're gonna be doing with these. So these markers, they look like a Sharpie. They have a little clip at the end and they have this brush tip like it says. There we go. Um, there is a brush tip there that what I found when I was working with this tip is that it all depends on the angle that you have your brush. So if you want a really thin angle, you have to hold it almost like right up and down and very lightly stroke. If you want it thicker, you just apply more pressure and use it more on an angle. I recommend getting something that you can work on first and play around with your coloring and playing around with the strokes um, in order to maximize the benefit of using these type of markers that work on glass. And you will see that by the struggles that I have going through this whole process of trying to create this DIY. Let me turn the camera upside down and let you guys take a look at what I created. Bro, when I started to look at these colors, I came up with an idea to do kind of like a Halloween themed um, design on a glass so that I could test out these pens and see how well they work. I just went to my cupboard and I grabbed a just a wine glass, a plain wine glass. You probably can get these at the Dollar Tree. I'm not 100% sure where I got this one at, um, if it was from the Dollar Tree or not. I am not sure. But, so this is what we're gonna put the design on today to kind of test out these pens and see how they work. So I'm not an artist by any means. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I went online and actually uh, printed out a design that I thought would look cute or, you know, kind of cute in theory on this glass. It is uh, it just says Halloween drinks. I will leave a link to this image uh, in the description box below if you want to grab this one. But I just basically searched for Halloween clip art PNG and then I typed in the word purple. I believe so I could find something that was purple and then maybe had some you know usually Halloween stuff has like purple and green probably will not use the pink in this one unless I decide to do like the lip um, and these handles this bright green color but I'm just gonna kind of take this as like inspiration so let's cut this out and get this um, taped to the inside of this glass so we can start testing out these brushes. There we go. And then the idea is to put it inside and tape it inside so that I can be able to draw the image. Slide it in so that I can get it pushed 
back and some of the bubbles obviously won't be part of the design that's okay okay I think that's gonna be good enough for me to be able to kind of trace the whole design so let's take a look at the directions I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna try to outline it first uh, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the purple down here and let's just take a look at the directions for these uh, gloss uh, paint brushes. It says it's great for glass, ceramic, and porcelain. And on the back it says to, to create a striking translucent design. So this, these are going to be kind of see-through on mugs, glasses, ceramic, porcelain, and other non-porous surfaces. Uh, long flexible nylon fiber brush nib allows you to create a super fine it, two thick bold strokes just by adjusting the pressure or the angle this ought to be interesting it says it's dishwasher and microwave safe once the item has been heat set at 160 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes so once we're done with this design we'll have to put it in the oven for 30 minutes avoid sharp objects as it may scratch the paint and it's also the design is removable while wet so that's good to know so that if you mess up while you're designing it that um it'll be able to be washed off so we're going to start with the purple brush i have like i said i have not tested these whatsoever we are going to get down and dirty here and attempt to start tracing this is going to be i never thought about this when i was coming up with this plan to test these is I never thought how hard it was going to be for me to try to record this video. I actually have everything on the ground so I'm not at the best angle to be able to um, trace this but I think you'll at least get the idea. So let's start. Oof. Yeah, this comes out really, really fast. Holy cow. It's hard for me to tell how this is going to look. It seemed to come out thicker at the beginning. I'm going to try to leave some space for the writing. Huh. Well, I'm sure if those of you who are artists are going to do a heck of a lot better job than me. I'll save that to make that pink and we're going to come across because we're going to put the name in there and then I'll color that in afterwards. I'm sure I'll come back to that color. I don't think the writing's going to work. I don't think the writing um, is going to show up because this is translucent so I guess you have to kind of really think of the designs I probably could go just all purple and forget about the name and maybe just do the name once it dries with the black I'm not a hundred percent sure so let's see let's do some of these green up here the bubbles. Okay. Oh, let's get the pink out. So that is the basic outline of it. So now what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this out so I can see where I missed up on spots and where I need to fill in to kind of finish it so I can see what it looks like, um, you know, without the backing. I'm just gonna take a piece of paper inside of here to kind of really s actually see the image and try to see what I'm missing. So yeah, it looks like the purple really needs to be filled in some. So let's go through and kind of clean up the lines. If 
but it doesn't seem to be, um, I wonder if I need to let this dry. I don't like this at all. It's like it doesn't let you, it doesn't let you draw over because it's still wet. Okay, let's try this over again. Let's, let's see how good it is for wiping off like it said. It should be wipe, you should be able to wipe it off before it dries. I am just gonna grab a damp uh, makeup wipe and look at that see so if you do mess up it is forgiving so you can kind of start the process over again i think i'm going to put this up a little bit higher so that it makes it look like the bubble will come out and i think i'm not going to put the writing on it i think i'm just going to color it in solid with the colors and um attempt to outline it in black first like I said guys this is all learning how these pens actually work So that's what it kind of looks like. I don't know, guys. I'm curious to know what it's gonna look like when it cures. Okay, so update, guys. Uh, after a few reiterations and <laughs> retries of creating this design, I finally came upon this one. Um, that I just kind of did the black, purple with the green going up, I lowered it. So I do have to say that I like the ability to be able to wipe off and retry the design. What I don't like about it is the streakiness of the coloring. So I'm not really a fan of that. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to do the curing since, since, again, this is just like a test review thing of it. It says it needs to go in a oven at 160 for, three, for 30 minutes, so that's what we're going to do now. Okay, so I was having problems with my oven, and it seems my oven won't bake as low as 160 so I gotta do 170 for some reason so I'm gonna let this get the temperature and then I'm going to put the glass in at 170 and I think I'm gonna still go 30 minutes Okay, it's been a half an hour. I'm going to carefully take this out and let it cool here for a while and, until I can touch it. So guys, here is the final product after it had gone through the uh, baking process for 30 minutes as you saw in my earlier clip for some reason my oven would not go to 160 so I just did it at 170 for 30 minutes so just be forewarned some ovens don't actually turn on to bake as low as 160 at least mine didn't I actually washed it with soap and a washcloth nothing that had any scratch or grit to it and you can see that the design is still um, on it and it's you know not scratching off it does say it's dishwasher safe now if you're going to put it in a dishwasher I would recommend putting it on the top shelf and maybe even testing a product out. If you end up creating something that you absolutely love, then I just say, forewarning, it says it's dishwasher safe on the back, but 
Joanne cannot guarantee it. I did not yet have a chance to put this in the dishwasher. So some of my final thoughts when it comes to these markers, are they worth it? Are they worth a buck? I could not figure out a way not to have the marker be streaky. Now, maybe there could be something you could do by putting a bunch of marker down and trying to do a little sponging with it. I also found that layering really didn't work, especially before you cured it, because as something, as a color partially dried, and if you try to put another color near it, next to it, on top of it, the bottom layer would just brush away, and that was striking out. So I had done as you saw in my video, honestly, I tried to create this probably, this was the fourth time, the fourth design, and that was the one thing I really liked about these markers, is that they are very, very forgiving when they are wet. That is a positive when it comes with these things. The other negative is how sensitive the tip is. So with the tip, if you just touch the tip, and pull a straight line, you can get a thin line. But as soon as you angle your brush or change your pressure in any way whatsoever, the line will get thicker, the line will change. So it does take some practice to be able to kind of master how what the best outcome would be for these particular markers. Now, after my review, would I purchase these again? No. I would not purchase these again. I honestly think these markers were way too much work. I think I would probably prefer to work with a paint and a paint brush. And honestly, for the outcome of the product and the type of coating that it leaves, I just don't think that it makes sense to spend $5 on markers that leave this kind of outcome. Joanne would say, save your money. Don't bother buying these. There's better ways and better products out there that you can actually be able to create a awesome design and put it on glass, porcelain, or ceramic. Anyways, that is going to be it for my review video today. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful to you. Uh, if you did happen to purchase these markers and you did have good luck with them, please leave any tips or anything of that kind in the comments below so you can help other people that are out there that are that are considering to purchase uh, these mark markers for their craft needs. If you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Joanne. It's nice to meet you. If you're new, I would love it if you would subscribe, hit that notification bell, and become part of my YouTube family. And for those of you who are already part of my YouTube family, thank you so much for stopping back on my channel. I really truly appreciate your support. You guys be awesome. Enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your weekend, and I'm going to chat with you guys in my next video. Bye guys.